Hello all, welcome back to Trinity Software. In this video, let's see how to convert JSON to CSV using Python. JSON is JavaScript object notation. It's a format for sharing data among web applications. And CSV is another format, namely comma separated values. Here, the data can be saved in the form of a table. So you can convert the JSON file to CSV file easily using Python with just three steps. First, we need to install pandas library using this command pip install pandas. Pandas library is used for data manipulation and analysis in Python. After installing pandas, we need to read the JSON data that is either JSON file or JSON string and convert that into a pandas object. After conversion, that pandas object can be converted to CSV file. The second and third steps can be done easily using the methods available in Pandas library. You can read the JSON data using read underscore JSON method. So this will convert JSON string to Pandas object. Then by calling to underscore CSV method, you can write that object to a CSV file. Okay. So this is the read underscore JSON method. The first argument is the path where the JSON file is available. Other arguments are optional. One of the most valuable argument is this orient argument because it indicates how our JSON file is structured. So whenever we need to convert any JSON file into a Pandas object, we have to find out the right value for the orient argument. So here are the set of values for orient argument out of which values and records are the most flexible one. Split is the least flexible one. So whenever there is no index name or column name in a JSON file, you can go for this values option. So let me start it with the values option for our JSON file. I'm taking this quiz.json file, which I have used in one of my previous videos. That is how to build a quiz application using Python tkinter. We'll convert this into a CSV file now. First, we need to import pandas. Then we need to read that JSON file and it will be converted to an object. So I will store the output in obj and pd.read underscore json. It takes the first argument as a JSON file. It's quiz.json and the optional second argument is orient. We will mention values here. Okay, let's print this object and check how it looks. After that, let's convert that into CSV using this to underscore CSV method. It takes one mandatory argument. You have to mention the file name where it should be stored. So I will store it in res underscore values dot CSV file. That's it. Let's execute this module. So this is the output. We got the index numbers starting from zero. By default, it starts from zero. It contains five rows and three columns let's check the csv file here we got res underscore values so here it is questions options and answers are displayed with the default index if you want to change you can change this starting index as one change as obj dot index plus equal to one let's save this so here in this object, the index is not changed, but in the CSV file, it's updated now. The index is changed starting from one. So next we'll go for the other option records. Uh, this quiz.json format looks like this. So for records, we'll just change orient equal to records and res underscore records.csv. Execute this. So again, we got the same output here. Let's check the CSV file, res underscore records. Both gave the same kind of output. Okay, fine. Next option, as I said, split is the least flexible one because it expects a JSON file to be of this format. So the key names should be index, columns and data here. So I have made a little modification to this quiz.json file and named it as quizpon.json. So this is quizpon.json file. So I have changed the key names as index, columns and data. 
indexes the questions there are two columns options and answers data contains what are the options and the corresponding answers so let's change this to quiz1.json and orientation split and split.csv file and you not change the index here so this is the output we have got the result for split this index number default index number is not given otherwise the questions options and answers are given as such and the remaining two options are index and columns here uh, json file should be structured in these two forms so for index and for columns i have made a modification to quiz file so it should contain the index that is the question the corresponding options and answers okay for each and every question options and answers are displayed individually you can convert that into a csv file with both the index and columns so change this to quiz2.json so orientation will make it as index okay so this is the object created when you use orient as index so this rs underscore index the result is similar to the previous one without mentioning index number other things are same and the last one is columns which gives a slightly different output we'll use the same quiz2.json file columns and columns.csv so here we got two rows and five columns which is different from the previous output so when we check the csv file we have two rows and five columns that is the columns contains the questions and rows contains this options and the corresponding answers so that's it thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe